Um, oh, this is probably a good question for me to do. Um, so for faces of the moon, um, so <laughs> once you start the faces of the moon project, uh, maybe you can't quite see it. Again, I still need to write up the instruction for that. Um, and I'll keep this in mind. This is what I'm trying to illustrate with the project is that uh, moon is uh, necessarily up in the sky at night. Uh, so the full moon is, full moon rises as the sun sets and it also sets as the sun rises. So full moon uh, covers the night, it does do that. But if you look at something like a crescent moon, then it's uh, mostly rising and setting very close to the sun. So, so that's what this question is getting at. During which phases is the moon visible for most of the day? So day, not night. So it's not gonna be full moon. In the new moon, um, it's technically not visible. Um, let me check it. And then if the system says it's not 100% correct, I'll uncheck it. Because the new moon would be in the sky, but you can't really see it. Um, waning crescent and the waxing crescent will definitely be visible for most of the day. And the first quarter and the third quarter will be visible for half of the day. Um, so the first quarter moon, um, so let's see, <laughs> I might get the order mixed up. The quarter moons, um, they rise and set when the sun is at the midpoint in the sky. So, um, and the gibbous moons, they want, um, they'll be closer to the full moon. So they'll be up most of the night, but they'll be only up in the sky, either around the evening time or morning time, depending on which they are. Yeah. Uh, so during the which yeah so that's where it it'll be the full moon that's visible for all of the night and the kibbutz moons that's visible uh, most of the um, night yeah so for the purpose of the question below assume that at six a.m. yeah okay uh, when does the uh, new moon uh, rise and set. Oh. Yeah, so this is something that actually does take a little bit of time to think through. Let me do the easy ones first, new and full moon. And I'll try to do the first and the third quarter moons. And um, if I miss it, then I'll flip it around. So the new moon uh, rises and sets with the sun. So at 6 a.m. it'll rise with the sun. And at 6 p.m. it'll uh, set with the sun. And again, uh, these are not literal 6 a.m. and 6, p 6, and 6 p.m. It's just a reference for when the sun rises and sets. Full moon rises when the sun is setting, so 6 p.m. And it sets when the sun is rising, 6 a.m. So the first and the third quarter moon, let me refer back to the figure here. So the moon is orbiting. So I'm look, imagining looking at it from above, from above North Pole. Um, it should be going counterclockwise and Earth should be also rotating counterclockwise. So um, when the sun is rising, that's when I'm around here. That's when the uh, third quarter moon is um, in, in the mid, mid sky. So, um, yeah, okay. So I think I have myself oriented here. So I'm imagining basically um, so that you can <laughs> see what I'm imagining in my head. This is what I'm imagining. I'm imagining being a person on earth at one of these four locations on earth. And I think based on imagining how the earth is spinning. Um, here is when I, it's midday. And here should be when the sun is setting to my west, I think. And here is midnight. And here is when the sun is rising. So the first quarter moon should be rising from east um, when I'm over here. So when, um, when it's uh, 12 p.m. midday, 
and it will be setting when I'm over here at midnight. Uh, so let me go down and mark that first quarter should be rising at midday and setting at midnight. And the third quarter should be rising. Uh, I'm imagining being this person here at midnight and it should be setting at midday. I think that's right. If I somehow mixed it up, then, <laughs> then I'll, I'll uh, mix. So all I need to do is flip them around and it'll be, <laughs> it'll be right. Um, oh, yeah. And I guess, um, I, I, yeah. So Newman technically isn't visible, but I mean, you know, it's not visible in the sense that, you know, it's up in the sky, but you can't really see because it's so dim. But well, all right. So it's tech. Well, the way the question is coded to is to accept the new moon as one of the answers. Uh, let me just double check. It might be that. Yeah, yeah. So it just coded so that you new moon is one of the answers. Yeah. 